What's up, everyone? Phil here with the Daily Wrap for Thursday, the 20th of January, 2022. Pretty fun day. Um, we did some interesting stuff today, for sure. First of all, we checked out a new release, the first new release of the year in Rainbow Six Extraction. Now, everyone was wondering, is the game any good? All right, after playing for three hours and going in with very low expectations, thinking it was going to suck ass, um, it doesn't suck ass, okay? Gotta be honest, it's not a terrible game. Um, it's kind of cliche, it's definitely grindy, but it functions, the graphics are decent, has interesting gameplay mechanics to some extent. Um, I would say Rainbow Six Extraction is a game that if you have three friends, or I'm sorry, you have two friends, because obviously you're a person, it's only three player co-op, and you want to spend some time grinding about 20 hours in a game that's going to have interesting unlocks, different operators that you can level up over time, uh, fun cooperative gameplay where you absolutely need to have teamwork to succeed, this is your game. You know, a lot of the same as like, oh, Rainbow Six, uh, the or the, Tom Clancy's The Division is the same kind of a game, right? Uh, I definitely would say this is not a game you can play by yourself. There's actually missions where you have to rescue people where when you're grabbing them, they have tendrils on them, and someone has to shoot the tendrils while someone else is grabbing them. There's no way you can do that with one player. So, basically, it's definitely a co-op required game. Uh, playing with randoms online will only get you so far. So it's not a terrible game, but it's also not a good game in my opinion. It's just kind of there. If you're looking for a unique co-op experience that's the latest new game from the Tom Clancy universe, there you go. But it's also something that's not necessarily a must-play. You could easily not play the game and never care about it again. If you want to see all the gameplay and my full opinions more fleshed out, check out the videos live on DSP Gaming right now, okay? Tonight, on the Halo stream, Halo Infinite multiplayer stream, there was a brand new game mode called Attrition where there's a limited amount of lives per team, so there's limited respawns, and it was pretty unique and interesting and very fast-paced and fast-moving. Um, basically, you could complete a mission uh, or uh, a game in like five minutes if one team routed the other. This was tied to a new event called, I think it's called like Cyberware or something like that, where basically you're unlocking free unlocks, to, unlike the other ones where you need to have this, the, the pass to get them. This one you don't. All you have to do is complete challenges, and I completed quite a few. I unlocked a cool 3D visor that projects in front of your face um and had a good time i actually got a few big team battle games in as well it worked for the most part tonight which was shocking because i actually heard otherwise i actually heard that the big team battles were not working but they actually did so that was good i also went an extra hour i had the ability to go an extra hour tonight so i did so i played three hours of halo tonight so it was a great day by the way support was great likes on the videos engagement was great everything was good so, please keep that up, all right? Let's just keep that going. Now, tomorrow, another unique day. I'm trying out Sniper Elite 4 as a main gameplay stream. This is directly upon your request from last week when I tried it during Game Pass night. Please, come on by, check it out. If it's good, I'll keep playing it as a playthrough, so we'll see. Tomorrow night is my weekly throwback session of Street Fighter. But also, <clears throat> on Saturday night, Game Pass night for this week. And you guys now have the ability to vote on the games that I'm going to be playing during Game Pass night on Saturday night. All you got to do is go to the main channel page of DSP Gaming, the community tab. There's three polls there you can click on. I believe it's like 13 different games that you can choose from. Uh, two games that have the most votes by Saturday night will be the games that I'm playing for that late night Game Pass stream. Okay, I'm just petting Jasper Kitty right here. So, please vote. Don't forget, you have today, you have Friday, and basically half a Saturday to vote on what I'm doing Saturday night. So, I hope you will. Okay, guys? Guys, that is it. Great streaming day. It really was a good one. I had a lot of fun. And I hope to see you all tomorrow when we try out Sniper Elite. Sound good? Thanks, guys. Have a good night. See you tomorrow.